Look at the snow today. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of fun. Okay, so we are going to start working on getting on. All right, so we are in our thing for today. This is our extra video for tonight. Somebody suggested that we do a print off and just, just like your owner. Yes, you are. Someone that suggested that we print off a dressage test and do a dressage test and then like have Fiona mark it or, or something like that. And we were really excited. And I told Gabby, like, I'm going to the vet this morning. I want you guys to download a dressage test and then practice it. How they did dressage, how they've done dressage tests back in the day when they, when we first were into dressage tests, they would run it like on the ground. They'd do the pattern on the ground with Kaylee. And so I told them to do that this morning, but Gabby can't find a dressage test that was easy enough. Hello, handsome. Look at, this is how cuddly he is. If he was a dog, he'd be a daisy dog. A hearing daisy dog. Yeah, sweet boy. Um, so that was the plan for today, but we do not have that. He's not so, he's daisy dog. He's, oh, Gabby says he is not a daisy dog. He's a daisy dog. So today is gonna be another made up, made up riding day. We're in lockdown for two more weeks till the end of February. Sophie's over there working on Finn. She's gonna spend part of today's lesson working on Finn. Don't chew these reins, these are new reins. Don't chew my purse, don't chew the reins. I'm not gonna miss this today. See how she's not losing her mind? See how she's being calm? Yeah, it might take a little while, and that's okay. Yeah, so who knew Finney liked scratches on his withers better than treats? That's his thing. All right, I was wrong, it is cold today. All right, so for today's video, we have Sophie's side. And then we have Gabby's side. Is this a bounce? No. Okay, I didn't think it was a bounce. Bounce would be closer. I love a good bounce. All right, it's time to turn it on. It's time to activate the Pro Ride Vest. There we go. We got the red light. Two, it's instant. It's an instant heat. Instant heat. All right, you want to? Give me the ball. Okay. My Sophie says it boosts her confidence to walk over the jump. Some of you guys might have that same issue. Some of you guys might get your confidence boosted by walking over. Some of you guys might go slow, might have to circle the jump. Like oh, both of my girls did that one. Circle to jump for five hours before they got their confidence up. But yeah, whatever works for you is the right way to build your confidence. How come he carries his head to the side? He's a llama. He's a llama, she says. And we got fa Fancy Finn. Fancy Finn flying around the arena, doing well. Somebody asked me the other day, how come Gabby rode Finn after Sophie rode him? He was very well behaved. It was not that Gabby had to school Finn. It was that Gabby is in love with Finn. Gabby loves to ride Finn. Gabby loves everything about riding Finn, and so they made a change. They swapped. I to see Gabby her yeah. So Gabby begged Sophie, Sophie, can I ride your horse? Yeah, this is And so Sophie gave in. And then she went on to say that Gabby pushes him too hard, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, she, is, she definitely, they are different riders. Absolutely. Makes me sad that when Sophie tells me stuff about her horse that he's doing, when she comes around, she looks to me to see if I'm going to judge her because with no trainer here, I'm always the one that's like, you have to do this and stop pulling and stop doing this and stop bouncing. And I feel awful that she feels judged because I don't do it the right way. I don't do it the way that Fiona does it. And it is not like, I'm just not good at it. And I don't want to damage my kids. Gabby did not have coffee today. We made the mistake of not getting her coffee. 
Are those all just raised trot poles? Okay, raised trot poles for Chino. Whoa. <laughs> I know, but you have to learn. So this is the problem. Gabby continues, Gabby continues to think that the arena is too small. Brandon continues to say that once she learns how to ride in a small arena, that she will have it made in the shade. But we just got to get her there. Ooh, I am cold. He's being good because he trusts you and he believes in you and he knows you. And we shocked him. <laughs> he had such a shocked face on his... He had, so when we went to get him today, he had just wandered down for a drink. And then we showed up and he was like, wait, what? <laughs> Too late to make a run for it. So, all right, you guys. You guys are amazing at giving advice. And I'm asking you now from the bottom of my heart. I know it involves collecting him and scrunching him up. She has trouble when she gets to the corner. Every time she does a jump or something with him. She, what? Too tight of a corner, she says, but I know it can be done. Tell us all your tips, tricks, and tools of the trade. Oh. Press release really big, but don't land on his neck. Oh, so Sophie, one thing people want to know. See, Sophie's leaning really far forward. Yep. See, I told her that's bad, but she hasn't listened to me yet. Gabby tells her that's bad too. But the thing is, she's not riding while she's leaning forward. What she's doing is light seating. But in her light seat, she like he leans forward like a jockey. But I think Fiona told me that she's dealing with short people issues. And that because of where her body lays, it looks like that. So the reason that she holds back over some jumps and it looks like she's not crest releasing is because she's holding him back and saying, don't, don't canter it just trot it which i don't know about so that's why we have trainers and that's why i need our trainers here yeah that was a little better at least <laughs> that was a further drop than gabby was expecting she's been riding storm so much all right, so am I holding him or are you taking him? We are at the intermission. Gabby is done with Chino a little bit each day. She's not overworking him. She just did a little bit of raised trot pulls today, a little bit of walk and trot. Did you canter? Yeah. A little bit of canter. You're doing so good, other than the fact that this arena is so small for you. You're such a big guy. So while Gabby changes horses, we consider that our intermission. And so he's gonna work with Finny. I have treats too, if you wanna do treats. No, because then he'll just be nosy and pushy. Yeah, okay. Butt, and then, yeah. Okay, all right. You got that itchy here? Yeah, you got all the, you worked it all out. So we're going to have to itch over here. Oh, he's like, yes. Now that's the new spot. That's the new spot. Yes. Okay. So Get up there and let's try it. I might all scratch this area. Okay, scratch up okay. higher. All right, get up there. I might want to do something with it. Yeah, like we're getting bored with these. Hold on, these. hold on, hold on. Because like in the intermission, I change my jump up. That. So that Finn doesn't have to do it every single time. Yeah, day. that'd be fun. Put some put some diagonals and fun stuff. No, I'm just changing All right, she's going to Oh, she's just she's changing it up, you guys. She's going to add a third jump. All right, Finny fam. Working with our horses and at home and like getting them to do the things that we want is such a different thing. Like seeing our horses now, these horses that we haven't done the, the course with, we haven't been working on the course with them. What a difference in them. A question for you guys, for all you horse experts out there, I have a question. And my question is, which do you think is smarter? Geldings 
or mares? What do you think? Or what do you think? Learn faster. Get it sooner. Oh, horses are fighting out there. Tell us about your jump. Wait a minute, I'm being attacked here. Okay. This here is called the line of death. This is the line of death. How about we change it to the line of doom? No, the line of death. The line of death. I'd rather doom than death. Death. All right. So why is it the line of death? I'm going to put this one forward. Ooh. And the other one a little bit farther. Right. Yeah, we got to count it out. Why is the line of death? Is because it has three jumps. All right. So Sophie's not used to that. This is something she's being brave about. Because Finn's being really good. Yeah. Except for picking up his feet. Yeah. So which way you go? Smallest um, to largest? Yeah, but I could go this way. All right. All right. Finn says, I do not want to do this. Woohoo! Show off for your friends there, Finny. It's got an audience today. All right. Good boy. So you guys remember whenever she would try and walk Finn over a jump, he would just leap over it? Look at how far we've come. Like that, kind of, but worse. <laughs> So I had to change my battery, missed the whole jump. So she's gonna do it, you guys. Here it is. This is the perfected line of death, not the line of doom, but I will be putting line of doom. Okay, it is the line of doom, not the line of death. See how he's changing? He's going slow over the jumps for her because she's asking him to. It doesn't look that pretty though. Good job. You guys know Finn does a really nice leap over the jump, over the jumps. All right, we got stormy night in the field. Stormy night, handsome stormy night, ready to rip up the ground. All right, I think I got it. Four batteries. I have four batteries in my purse, and I think this is the only one that's full. The only one. All right, we are in business. Horse number two for Gabby today. Gotta have lots of food to ride two horses in a day. All right, this brave girl. That was not trotting, try again. This is for Fiona. For Fiona. Woo! 
And she got the good, the correct lead. A nice lead change. So Fiona tells her to leave his horse, leave his head alone when she wants to go fast because that's how he goes fast and that when he's collected he always goes slower. Shoot. Shoot. Those are not the words you want to hear. Am I going to go home and and poof there's a... Oh. Sophie's like... Sophie's like waiting for the shock of a lifetime. She thinks that we're gonna surprise her with the bearded dragon. You're smiling, so you are. So every time we go someplace, she's like, am I gonna come home and there's gonna be a bearded dragon? Yeah. Does he have his back lead? Yeah. Do you know how to tell if he has his back lead? No. Yes. No, I do not know. There, he just swapped the lead. I know when they swap it. See the back leg like, that's closer to us? Yeah. That one has to be going forward, and the one that's on the rail has to be going, like, far out. Okay. Okay, so now he's on the right lead. Yeah. Oh, I got it. She taught me how to tell if he gets the right lead in the back. So how do you do the front? Same way? The front? The one that you put to on the correct lead is supposed to go farther forward. Yep. Mom, I'll canter and you're going to tell me if I'm on the correct lead or wrong. Okay, so here it is, you guys. I'm doing a test. You guys do it with me. Higher baby stuff. What? Here's the higher baby stuff. Baby stuff. Stormy boy. You're not a baby anymore. I've been three foot all the time in the summer. I know. Okay. All right, wait, we're gonna do it, so. All right, so anybody who wants to do this with me, we're gonna tell. My first ever time knowing that I was on the wrong lead is at a show um, on Storm in Hack, and I'm like, this doesn't feel right in my head. I okay. In my head, I said, this doesn't feel right. I looked down at his shoulder, it was not right, so I stopped and trotted. Okay. And Fiona got very proud of me. Oh, good, okay, Fiona is very good at being proud. Either two six or two nine. Alright, two six or two nine, that's what Gabby's gonna jump. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna say you're on the correct lead. There's oh. Uh right lead. Correct. Correct? That's the wrong lead? Yep. Wait. Oh no. You're good. Alright, that's the back lead. I think he changed it because I saw this one going Yeah, I saw Oh, I was looking at the back lead. You have to look at all their legs. Well, I only know how to tell the back lead. Okay, correct? The one on the inside and the front leg is more forward than the other one. So that's the same as the back then? Yeah. Okay, correct lead. Here, now do it again. Get the incorrect lead. Counter, canter it. Canter, counter. Counter, canter. Counter, canter. It's kind of low key fun, but it feels good. Uh, right. I think that's the correct. 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 Gabby tried to do it and he swapped it. Gabby's jumping two nine. Go, go, go. Ooh. Yeah, correct lead. And then he kicked. Oh my gosh. Higher. This is two nine or two six? That's two nine. Two nine. Wait, what? That's Finn's record right there. That's Finn's record right there. Stormy's is three six. Stormy's is three six. Should you do it the other way? No, because I prefer that there. First, so we have a good takeoff point. So we set this one up good. Okay, are we ready to cool out? Can you put it 
tough one. All right, one one up. Final finale, grand finale, people. We're going up to three foot. All right, it's happening. Three feet stormy it looks night. Lower when you're going it's, towards yeah, and in the camera it looks low. Single oxer of that is so hard on Tina. Good boy. Now that was one to send to Fiona. Oh, he just, oh, he trotted. All right, so this is it, this is it. It looks really small on the camera. Same height as the oxer that I jumped on Chino for the first time in a while. Like for the first oh time, three foot on Chino. When it was just a single diagonal oxer, I was... Uh, wrong lead. <laughs> I got it, I guessed it. Wrong lead, wrong lead. All right, and I know how to tell leads now. All right, I'm going. All right, we got this storm. All right, get ready, get ready. Here it goes. Jesus, good job. Thanks for saving me. Thanks for saving me. Okay, disregard that one. That one was bad. That was wrong. He wasn't expecting that. Here we go. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Good. That was good. Good boy, he's done, she says. That's what a good owner says. So he's kind of getting more like uh, Finn. No, he's kind of getting actually good over jumps. Like good boy. Yeah, it only took us three years, but he's like, he knows how to do it now. Gabby learned how to show him how to do it. Only took her three years, but I bet you if you started at 14, you would probably already be here. Or if you started at 13, you would already be here. You were just young before. Okay. If she started right, like if she started pro, like it, when she was 11 and 12, she wasn't, she wasn't trying to do this stuff. All right, let's pack it up. Let's pack it up. That is it for this extra video. How'd you feel about your ride today, Gabby? How'd you feel about your ride today? Good. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the